Hey, my friends, the heads up to this very nearly five minute quickie. It's all about doing something in 30 seconds which will change your life. Guaranteed. In a good way, by the way. In a good way. Change your life in a good way. Guaranteed. The Cluffy Guarantee. Have a listen after this. Hey, welcome to the Personal Development Unplugged podcast with me, Paul Clough. And this is an FMQ, a five-minute quickie podcast, which never lasts five minutes. It always goes a little bit longer. But it's a chance for you and I just to muse, to think of a subject, to talk about it for a few minutes, and then spend time thinking, seeing how it would change our life if we maybe developed it a little deeper. And maybe sometimes these five-minute quickies will go into a longer podcast where we can dive deeper and produce processes, hypnosis processes, NLP processes. Don't worry about the names. They're just processes for making our life and your life absolutely better. Getting rid of anxiety, fear, all those other hang-ups and issues that we have and have the life we deserve and make dreams come into reality quicker, bigger, better than you could ever dream of. But they're the longer podcasts, and this is a five-minute quickie where we break down the complicated into simple, because in simplicity, there's genius, and that's what we do here. So if you want to just think for a little while, see what happens, see what resonates inside you, and when it does, you go change the world. This is Personal Development Unplugged with Paul Clough. In simplicity... There is genius. In simplicity, there is genius. Hey, my friend. Five-minute quickie. And a five-minute quickie to muse, because this morning I was in, in my little place where I'm doing my journaling. And, well, didn't have much to say to myself, that is. And then I started writing to myself about something very simple that I know but I don't do quite enough of and you know I've talked about it before well you will have if you've listened before a long time ago all about stopping and pausing stopping and pausing and all you have to do is is for a a very small time you know maybe a minute 30 seconds do it longer if you want but just stopping and pausing taking a breath letting everything settle centering yourself again but also I had this thought you see because I've been I don't know where I got it from don't know if I heard it or read it I know it wasn't coming from my brain but the thought was to look for beauty just look for beauty in everything because if you look for it you'll find it seek and you shall find but it's what happens isn't it When you start looking at things, you're directing your focus. You're telling your unconscious mind, where is beauty? Let's find it. And I thought to myself, well, what would happen when you stopped and paused and just centered? But as you were doing that, you were looking for beauty. I mean, you can do that when you're walking along the road. Wherever you are, you could look for beauty. But I think this is a great way to start. So stop and pause and centre and look for beauty. And I thought to myself, and I was right as I was writing this, look, how would that affect me if I did it? And I thought, well, would it affect me mentally? I think it bloody would. Spiritually? Mm, not well, I don't know, so I don't know if I'm really that spiritual type person, but I think if I was, I would. But maybe I just see the beauty of the world. Beauty of little old planet Earth beauty of the environment, people, everything, isn't there? So I think it would affect me inside, spiritually inside. What about emotionally? When you look at beauty, it's got to resonate inside, isn't it? It has to. What about physically? You think, well, really, would it? Yeah, but if you're getting a high, call it vibration, in your emotions. 
And if you're getting a better feeling, a better uh, mental aspect, your thoughts, it's got to help mentally, is not it? Physically, everything is a winner. And if you did that just for 30 seconds, just once a day, with compound interest, I think that would start to make a hell of a difference. But that would be only 30 seconds a day. What would happen if you did it a little bit more? Because we can all spend another 30 seconds, another time of the day to just stop, pause, center, and look for beauty, to recognize beauty. Because that might then become a habit, a habit that would really really increase your you in all that those different areas as I said mentally physically emotionally health the whole blooming lot wouldn't it and it's so simple so simple I actually wrote it's easy peasy and then thought well I wonder what it would be like and that's all you have to do wonder wonder what it would be like because now you've sent that into your unconscious mind as a question and a question that your unconscious mind has to find out has to find the answer and even though we know the answer you've got to find the answer because you need again this is not an intellectual thing saying oh well done Cluffy you wrote in your journal it's really really nice no it's a doer you don't get the effect unless you do it made me feel good writing it. I have to say, I stopped a few times and just felt those feelings, even though I wasn't noticing beauty, but I was just feeling what it would be like in my mind what it, and in my body, what it would be like. Felt very whole, wholeness, that bit inside you. Mm. So there you go, five minute quickie. I'd love you to you just give that a go, but do it. Look for beauty in everything and everywhere, just by stopping and pausing, just for a few seconds, a few times a day, and then let me know. Let me know what you noticed, because just by sharing the beauty that you see will enhance my life, will enhance other people's lives. So do share this, please. You know the email address, I'm not going to tell you, you're going to have to look it up. And when you do find it, it'll be feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. But I'm not going to tell you that. Anyway, have more fun and beauty than you can stand. It's time to fly. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.